What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. Just to let you guys know, you might hear kids in the background, a little bit of music playing in the background. I have all boys. They're all teenagers and all their cousins are back there. It's summertime, so y'all be prepared for the next couple of months to hear a little bit of background noise, okay? Um, I'm not, um, a million dollar YouTuber, okay? I don't make a lot off of YouTube, so we, we still are kind of like in a little small house, so just bear with me, okay? If you love me, you'll stay, all right? Let's get right into this, spirit, ancestors, and guides. What was I gonna say? Welcome, make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is gonna be a general reading. It's not gonna resonate for everybody, Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Let's see what's going on within this connection at this time, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see what's blocking this connection at this time, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see. Ooh, let's see, spirit. What's going on with the collective connection at this time? They are not the one. This has come out. Woo, they are not the one. Lack of harmony, not in alignment with you. I feel like there's this energy complex situation. I've never gotten this card. Unraveling a difficult pattern. Okay, so this is a very complex situation between you and this person. Okay, um, I feel like it's been a long time coming to realize um, because it says unraveling a difficult pattern. So... It's been a long road where you've held on to this person and it's taken a while to realize like this isn't my person. This isn't the one for me. Um, maybe I've been seeing things from the wrong perspective, but it is very a complex situation and it's been very hard to see this connection for what it truly is where this is not the one for me. This person's not good for me. They're bad for me, right? Um, I feel like this connection has had a constant lack of harmony, okay? Where the two of you guys are just never in alignment with one another. It's constantly toxic. It's like been like this from the beginning. There's always been red flags. There's always been tumultuous times. There's never been a period of pure harmony, I feel like, for this particular person. I feel like there has been maybe some childhood trauma here involved. Um, where you might have viewed a lot of toxic relationships growing up. So maybe, you know, toxicity is the norm when it comes to a relationship here. So it's almost like, you know, you got into a relationship. It was toxic as fuck. You held on. You thought that, you know, if this person is toxic, if they're being crazy over you or whatever it is, insecure, jealous, whatever it is, they truly love you, you know, but they, it's come, it took some growth. And some aging to realize that that's not love, right? That that's toxic. That's devil energy. And to also realize, mm -mm, we ain't going to do that. Mm -mm. All right. <laughs> I got to get on my child's ass because he be creeping. Trying to come in and out. You will God love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's why there isn't there is this lack of harmony there is it's like if you wonder why there's never truly been this peaceful time for the two of you guys or the bad times outweigh the good times it's because you guys aren't meant to be in alignment this person is completely out of alignment with who you are and I feel like as you've grown and you've expanded and you've learned more about yourself you're starting to realize and, and this is through self-discovery right this is through self-love this is through and I'm telling you as you cut this situation off or separate yourself from this situation that's how you start realizing what's good for you what's not good for you right and there's this energy where somebody has just grown to the point where they see this isn't love this isn't this isn't what love is somebody questioning where i go being jealous i can't do that's not love uh somebody talking shit being abusive that's not love you know, and for a long time, somebody felt like this was the one, this was my love, but it's like somebody's coming into that realization. This ain't the one for me. This ain't love. Well, there is no harmony. There is no peace in this relationship. You know, this is toxicity. This is karmic. 
but it's such a complex situation where maybe you love this person, maybe you have kids with this person, maybe you have a long time with this person that it took a and I feel like the complex situation also comes from that childhood trauma where it's like toxicity is the norm. Um, so it took time to unravel um, this difficult pattern and to see that it's time for you to break this generational curse of toxicity. Damn, if it's not the kids, it's the dogs, y'all. What the fuck, man? But it's almost this energy where it's like, it's taken you. I feel like you may have been the black sheep. You might have feel like you were the outcast. But I feel like it's it's going to take you to break this generational curse of toxicity. And I feel like this is something your papa and your grandma are toxic. You know, your mom and your stepdad, your mom and your dad. Toxic, toxic, toxic. Generation after generation of abuse, emotional abuse. Um, you know, just this is what I'm seeing. Okay. And it's going to take you to stop that pattern. I feel like you had gotten yourself into a pattern of maybe toxic relationships, toxic situations, um, holding on to people that are, aren't into alignment with your true spiritual self. But I feel like you are the one. Okay. I'm proud of you. You're the one to break this generational curse for your kids and your grandbabies and the people to come. And I got chills because it's beautiful. Okay, you're doing the right thing. And I have to say, send this message. This is karmic. And a lot of people don't want to hear that it's karmic. But this specific situation is karmic. And it's up to you to break this generational curse. Not just for you, for your babies, for your grandbabies. Okay, and to cut this shit off and to move away from this shit. Because as you do that self love, that the with you, that's how you step into what you truly align with. You're leveling up. You're spiritually growing. You're drawing in somebody that's in the same alignment with you. It's beautiful. This is actually quite beautiful. Okay, I see somebody that has been hard to see the truth for what it truly is, and that's okay. Okay, it took me 14 years to get out of my karmic relationship. Okay. It's okay. It takes time to realize and unravel the truth and to realize what what we went through in childhood. It's, it's boiled over. And it, I feel like this is an energy of somebody who told himself, I'll never go through that. I'll never be in a relationship like my parents or, you know, like what you saw growing up. And then you ended up in the same situation. Spirit wants you to break this cycle and break this cycle now. Okay. And I feel like this is beautiful because somebody's seeing it. Somebody's realizing it. Yeah, uh, um, this could be somebody that you might have had a children with, a child with. This could also be somebody that tries to use money, okay, or play on your feelings in order to keep you trapped within their energy. I feel like this person is definitely either you, they could have you as their love affair, their low down dirty secret, okay, or I feel like this person is definitely out cheating, they have a a lot of low down dirty secrets i feel like this person could also be on the down low okay for some reason i don't usually pick up on that because i don't believe spirit and souls have gay or not gay i feel like we're just we're souls who are attracted to who are, we are attracted to so i don't even believe in gay or whatever people you know this this society calls gay i don't believe in that i believe it's two souls that are in love okay i don't i don't see why we got to label that um, but I do see that there is somebody here that might be on the down low. Okay. Um, and they're afraid to, to let somebody know that's not for everybody though, but there is definitely somebody that is constantly cheating, constantly going behind your back. There's this energy where, yeah, you and this person have a lot of history with one another. And, and this is that what could pull you into this situation or having you hold on. Because we have history. We've been, you know, we've been through a lot. Damn, okay, you've been through enough. You know, Spirit, while you're over here saying, yeah, but we've been through a lot together. Spirit is trying to tell you, but you've been through enough. You want to keep going through a lot more? Or do you want to say, I'm done going through it? I'm ready to be happy. I'm ready to live my life. I'm ready to see to, to experience me and find myself. The past happened. It says it on this card. The past happened. 
And this is where that, con you know, it clarifies that complex situation, you know, because you do have history. So it's un it's hard to unravel this difficult pattern that the two of you guys have. But it's been unraveled, okay? There's this energy, and this is, comes in with that toxic energy where this person could use sex to try to lure you in. Yeah, we have loss, ghosted, blocked, cut off. I feel like, you know, at times this energy, they, they might cut you off, they'll ghost you, they'll leave you feeling this sense of loss, wondering where you stand, and then they come back in trying to reconcile, trying to come back together with you, okay? This person's just all around fucked up. It's like they just ghost you. They just block you. They just cut you off. But see, the, the problem is they have this obsession with you. And it's like a must-have. It, it It's not that they're in love with you because there's no love on here. Look, intervention, rescue others involved. So people, other people are involved in, in this relationship. And spirit is definitely trying to step in with this divine intervention and rescue you from this situation. Okay. This person is obsessed. It's not love. It's obsession. And I said that in the beginning, didn't I? That, you know, somebody being jealous and insecure sometimes. Okay. If they're, oh, they care. They care. Cause they're asking all kinds of questions. They're in their feelings. No, somebody's coming to the realization that's obsession. That's not healthy. That's somebody who is look pretending, pretending. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's this energy, okay, where spirit is really trying to get you away from this person with this interlude pause timing factor. This person is trying to get you away from this person because I feel like you're stepping into this new energy. And as you step into this new energy and take this pause and step away from this person, that you're going to step into this beautiful energy with your true twin flame, with the person you're supposed to align with. I feel like you cannot see this coming yet. You know, it's hard to see a way out of this situation, maybe due to money. Maybe you don't have a lot of money. You don't have family you can count on. You don't see a way to step away from this. But Spirit is saying, like, they're going to come in. There's going to be some kind of divine intervention that's going to pull you away from this person. Where you turn around and ghost and block and cut their ass off. And then you step right into this energy with your twin flame. You know, with the one. With the person that you're truly meant to be with here. Children. So you definitely have children with this person. Okay. And this could be one of the issues that's made it difficult to walk away. All right. Spirit is saying, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically. It's like, this is where spirit wants you to start getting that self-respect, that self-love, that self-confidence, finding yourself again. Stop trying to love somebody else. You need, It's time for you to love yourself. I feel like you haven't been loved as a child. You've never been loved correctly and you deserve it. But you can't truly know what love is until you love yourself. Okay. Um, healing family issues. Wow, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I cannot make this shit up. I'm telling you, I feel like this has crossed over. I feel like there's parental energies that motherfucking were so gosh damn toxic, bro. And then it like led into your adult fucking life. And it's like spirit really wants you to go on ahead and forgive these toxic ass karmic energies. They're just your parents in this lifetime. Okay. And you're in everything will start flourishing. You you that'll heal. You can forgive them and move on. You don't have to have them in your life. I'm not saying let them in. Keep them where the fuck they're at. All right. Love yourself. Find yourself. Okay. Don't let these. You know you have kids, but you can make it as a single mom. Okay. You can do this. You can do this alone. Don't ever let nobody think that you can't. It's time for you to break this generational curse. All right. All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.